the second. Okay. Hi, everybody. I am Blake Cabot. I am the owner of facepaint.com. Thrilled to have Patty DeLeon. Hi, Eleven. guys. Hi. All the way from Houston. All the way I'm from so Houston. All the way from Houston. So Patty is, um, she's been on Fabit TV. She's done all sorts of things. She's taught lots of classes. Um, she's an excellent face painter. And um, we are uh, very excited to have her. She's going to be doing eye designs, which is very appropriate for this time because when everybody's wearing a mask, you can always do eye designs. So I thought that this would be a great session. And I am very, very excited to have her. So with that, um, Patty, uh, take it away. Thank you. Guys, we have a few cute designs. Uh, they're going to be around the eye. And everything is very simple. So I hope you like my webinar. And let's get started. Uh, for the first design, I'm going to grab one round brush. And I'm going to paint some uh, cute bonnets. Um, you know, the ones that we eat the ones that have frost on top with pink. So I'm gonna grab my round brush um, and I'm gonna load this one with a uh, neon pink from this cake, okay? I believe the one, because I make this one, I believe the one I use here, it's a neon pink from Crayola. So, from and- Crayola? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yeah. And so I'm grabbing my pink color and I'm gonna start right now placing, I'm gonna move my head and I'm gonna place one oval chain here and one more here, okay? So let's get started with the first step. And I'm gonna do one here. Mm -hmm. And one more here. So we got people from all over the world. UK, Scotland, Maryland, Slovenia. Welcome, guys. Let me know if you guys can see me. I'm trying my best to go close to the camera. No, okay. you, you're doing really well. That looks great. Well, I'm having right now my shape here. I'm mm -hmm. going to do another little oval in the middle. And one more here. I don't think anybody on earth besides you have ever seen paint that well holding the brush like that. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> it's because of the camera. So now you don't I'm have to do, worry about it that much. I'm going to do the waves for the frost and I'm going to do these like that. Okay. And here is one more. Okay, now with the pink, I'm gonna fill it out the pink part for the frost thing. I think is the name of the. Sometimes when you lean back, the lighting becomes really bright. And actually, it's better there. Perfect. I'm gonna stay here. Hey, Zuri. Okay, You're fill it out all the pink I make, leaving the little empty space in the middle because we need it. It's a donut, uh, the pink classic donut. donut. Uh -huh. So I'm just filling out the little space. And the same thing here, fill it out with pink. France, El Salvador, Belgium, dear Lord. Okay, gonna leave this alone for a second and I'm gonna fill it out the brown part with the same brush, just rinsing my brush. And let me grab my baby wipe. And I'm gonna grab a, a little brown from this cake, the one in the middle. Uh -huh. And the same brush I'm using to fill it out the, you know, the, these diamonds got brown here in the bottom part, right? Uh -huh. So I'm gonna fill it out the little space I have there here. Not right now, maybe don't make sense. We wait a little more to see the, the more steps like that we can see it, the line where it's gonna show more. Uh -huh. And the same thing here. 
I hate to say it, but the lights are being a problem. Um, do you have the lights on right turn, now? Let me turn the, this one off. Yeah, and see. That, may be, that may be better. Okay. I you think that's see? better. Yeah. It's because outside it's going to, like I said, it looks like it's going to rain. So. Okay. So right now I'm going to fill it out. The... So what are you painting? A donut. The, the frosty, the frost, red, okay. I mean, pink donut. Help me uh -huh. with my pronunciation. Oh. Um, What I did, and when I re I want to tell you what I did. I did one oval shape here with my with the pink, leaving a space in the middle, and same thing here, leaving a space in the middle. Fill it out with pink, and now I'm filling out the bottom part on brown, huh? and just like that. Can you see it or no? Yeah, we can see can it. You? It's it's a little hard to, but it's it's okay. I I, I see it, and besides that, I like donuts. I mean, I like to eat them. I like, um, there's a lot of things I like about donuts. Can you ask if they can see it? Yeah, they're here. they can hear you. Because I don't wear my glasses, so it's a little difficult for me to see clearly. No, it's okay. Okay, you have one here and one here. With the same brush, I'm going to raise my brush, and now I'm going to grab blue and yellow for the sprinkles on the inside. And I'm going to try to... No move super fast, but I'm gonna try to to explain everything and move like that. You guys can see all the designs I have. Um, and I'm grabbing with the same brush, uh, yellow, to do some sprinkles here and there. There's a little line, little lines here and there. Just go here and there. And now I'm switching for blue. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, Olga says that she can see. Yeah, they can see. Thank you so much, guys. And thank you for being patient with me. I always have the same problem. On my YouTube channel, the same thing. Here, I'm going to do sprinkles here and there. Okay, and I'm not going crazy. You can go with more colors, but for me, that's I think it's enough. Now I'm with the brush on the side, grabbing my round brush number one, and do the line work around. Oh, before that, I'm gonna grab a sponge okay. with Silva Blue to do a little bit around. Well, which which face paint? Uh, Silva Blue from Pat. Okay. And I'm checking my, my color on my hand because um, I don't want to have it super wet. Just want a little background here and there like that. Just to don't have it super empty before I do the line work. Mm -hmm. Okay, just like that. Now let's do the line work, okay? It's so number one with black. And I'm going to outline the middle part. Uh -huh. Wow. Sometimes your ca camera gets kaflui. Um. Okay, let's try that. Um, that's amazing that you were able to draw that line. Can I just uh, just speak to that? Because no one, I mean, everybody has to put their finger on the face to kind of give you more stability. But to do that freehand like that, I'm impressed. Thank you. I learned to do that way because as a burn survivor, I don't have the pinky. It's all, it's, it's no way I can use it. So okay. I learned to do that way. When I was taking class with Marie, I, once I, when I, my first class was with him, I said, how do you do these perfect lines? And maybe I'm not gonna be able to do it because I don't have these 
the yeah. thingy who help you to balance and do these perfect lines and he say you don't have to have you don't need to have the thingy look you wait yeah. and i know wait. it looks it looks I great think. i mean it's but um it's not supposed to make good language right so yeah. let me finish here Oh, you know what Zuri's telling me? It's the mm. black background that's doing this. Ay, 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 ay. Can you get rid of the black background? It's because if I flip it, you guys are gonna see my mess in the back and no. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Oh, let me see. Perfect. Now you're gonna see it. There we go. Let's see if this works. Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. It's fine. Okay, let's see. Gosh, okay. I think okay, you're, that's right, Zuri. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's do the uh, little. Uh, I can believe I do these things. <laughs> So I'm gonna do now with my line, uh, with um, number four uh, and white, some uh, swirls and highlights here and there. And we finish this and we move to the next one. Can we speak about donuts? I miss donuts. I haven't been to a donut shop in a long time. <laughs> And um, see now, I'm gonna do some swirls coming from here. Uh -huh. And uh, which which white are you using? Uh, the uh, diamond effects. Diamond effects white. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now some stars here and there. It's working so much better without the black background. Uh, awesome. Okay, this one is just like that. I wanna go close, do the screenshot because I'm gonna delete it and go with the next one. Okay. I have uh screenshot got it okay guys uh this is just like that and i'm sorry for what happened in the background and i'm gonna move with the next design okay i'm painting myself i don't have models so i'm gonna delete this one and move sure. to the next one okay okay so while you're doing all that i could talk uh do a little bit of self-promotion so the um what do we got going on facepaint.com right now I think we're about to have, uh, well, we have free shipping. We still have the 20% off on all orders right now um, uh, for the 4th of July thing. And uh, we have a summer design contest for those of you who have summer designs and are looking to win $100. And um, lastly, uh, and that's all on facepaint.com. You can find out more information there. And uh, who we got coming up? Oh, well, you're ready now. Well done. So let's go with the next design. Uh, for this next design, I'm gonna grab, this is gonna be a cactus, uh, super cute cactus. And I'm grabbing my uh, craze bloom, which is okay. sea wave. And I'm gonna grab just the two dark colors on the top mm -hmm. with my, um, let me show you the brush, with my, being uh, angle brush. This is uh, the one. PayPal. Romantic, romantic rose. Okay. Okay. It's a small size. And I'm gonna grab only two colors from here. Oh wait, I'm gonna do the first, the not, another step first. This is also another crazy cake, and this one is the one Royal Sunset. Okay. And I love it because I see so many. Uh, cakes like this, but the one next to the pink 
it's like a, it's like a burgundy color, which make it very unique. I love it. And I recommend this, this one. I'm gonna grab for this step, my flat brush, three quarters, is the large one, three quarters inch, to grab all the colors here. This is gonna be in the, kind of in the back, background. Mm -hmm. Going back and forth, grabbing all the colors. Okay, here is the brush. Okay. I go like and around seven stock. times around my cake like that. I don't have to go and reload, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm coming from here, from here, ending here, because here's going to be the whole cactus. So mm -hmm. here, let me move my hair from here. Something like that. Going, nice. Wait a right. little bit. I'm going back, back. Okay. Okay. Put this one on the side. And now I'm grabbing again the blue and I'm gonna do the the first step oh, for this cactus. You guys can see better? Yes. Okay. I can speak to that. Okay. So this cactus, it's gonna be here, so here's going to be the plant base, and it's going to be like that. Something like that, okay? Nothing fancy. And I'm going to put this one on the side, and now I'm moving for uh, to grab my Double brush for the cactus and grabbing from this cake, the dark and the light green. Mm -hmm. This is one I made myself, so I don't have name, but anything with greens and light green will work. Okay, and here's the first, uh, It's so like a big oval circle like that. Mm -hmm. Fill it out. Going back. And do one more here. One more here. And one more here. It's kind of just like a little circles. Nothing had to be like perfect in nature. And these guys have babies everywhere. This is the, <laughs> the mom babies here, baby there. So, can you guys see this step? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right there. And then this, put this one on the side. And I'm gonna grab this cute stencil. This okay. is a BAM stencil number 5061. It's the mini ones. Mm -hmm. Just do a little texture here with my dauber here. Okay. I'm gonna grab a little bit of white to do that little step. This is a fast, fast step. Then if you don't want to do it, don't do it. But I think add a little something and I like it. So I go here and do just like that. Okay. We put this one on the side and I grab the same brush I used before, number one with black. 
And I'm gonna do uh, a little line work and some details. Okay, you're gonna This is the line work for a cactus. Now we're gonna do little cute face inside. Mm -hmm. Here it's here is my middle. Here is the smiling. No, here is the eye. Lashes, of course, because it's a girl. Of course it is. I was going to say <laughs> that. <laughs> a little, uh, some random lines here and there, just to make sure it's, we can see a cactus. Some flicks for the spikes here and there. Like so. Now with my with my dover, I'm gonna use the back of my dover, and I'm gonna put the back of my dover on black to do um, glasses. So and what I do, I just make sure I I have enough to stamp the circle. Give me mm -hmm. one second. So I do these, and I make sure I know they have enough. And I'm coming and pay attention where it's gonna be one, like this, and go back on my black just to double check I have enough. Wait, one second. And do the another glass. Uh, something like that, okay? Mm -hmm. I have it, I'm gonna put it back. Now with my number one, okay, I will, I'm keeping using. I'm gonna just go and if you, I need to fix something, just fix it. Yeah, Ruth and says that was a clever idea using the dauber that way. Yeah, I do it for all my for all my glasses because it's, it's fast. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now I'm going to Grab uh, my floral brush. The one I'm using is the one from Marcella. Uh -huh. And grabbing black, um, white, and uh, magenta. I'm loading my. Let me show you. Loading my my brush. That's your diamond. White. Yeah, lemon effect is the only one I have now because it's very difficult to find other brands. Let me spray my magenta. You know what? I'm gonna change with, I'm gonna grab white, orange and red. Okay. Because I, I think look more like the flowers from the cactus. Mm -hmm. Um. It's triple low, white, orange, and red, okay? And I'm using white diamond effects, orange uh, five, uh, and red from Merrill. Merrill. And here I'm gonna do a little flower because these guys have flowers. Of course they do. And it's a girl this cactus, one. so girl cactuses have flowers. Yeah, <laughs> one more here. Maybe one more here. Something like that. 
I'm gonna put this one on the side regarding my uh, white. Uh, number one for white to do little highlights here and there. Mm -hmm. Now the middle of the flowers with the same brush. Like that. Let's do some swirls coming from here. Yes. Um, the One of the split cakes was the Royal Sunset. Let me get you a link to that, Ruth. That's the raw sunset. And I think the other one was sea wave. Yeah. Something like that. Okay. Can we go close for you guys to the screenshot? Okay, everybody take a nice picture. Everybody got a picture? I certainly do. Got it. Okay. Just like that. And I'm going to move to the next one, okay? Okay, perfect. Okay, now I can get to all the different webinars that are coming up. So, um, we have uh, Prima Barton. She's going to be doing on-the-job animal designs next Monday. And then we have Eric Stiles doing t-shirt airbrushing arts, which is unique for us, um, but it's kind of a way to make extra money. And then we'll have uh, Ilsa uh, Kusters doing magical fairy designs. And then uh, on August 3rd, we have Pam Kinneberg doing zoo animals. So that's the upcoming lineup. And needless to so say, many amazing people, guys. Yeah, Imagine pretty good group. And we got we got Patty again on uh, September twenty eighth doing on the job Halloween designs. Uh, okay, let's move with the next one. Uh, for the next step, uh, this one is a cute bird, and it's also fast. So I'm grabbing my sponge, and I'm going to grab a uh, purple from Tac. This is the lila purple from Tac. This is shimmery purple the background just a little bit. Uh, Richard said that last design came out beautifully, by the way. Thank you so much. So I'm grabbing my, my purple, just going around just like that. And that's a fab light purple? Uh, this is that uh, purple. It's the shimmery lila. I don't remember the name. But okay. it's uh, the I metallic think the purple? One. Yeah. So... Just like that. And I put this one on the side. It's this one. And I'm grabbing my silver brush with green. The same green I use for the cactus. Mm -hmm. Going back and forth, grabbing the dark and light green. And this guy is gonna be placed right here. So I'm gonna do the shape here. I'm try, trying, to take, trying to keep the dark green and the outside. So go. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Do it out. Uh, Tiffany said, saludos, Pare de León. Mi encantado. Hola, amigos. Todos los que hablan español, gracias por estar aquí. Los quiero. And she said, she, uh, uh, mi encantan tu mecula. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, makeup. I don't know. Okay, guys. Here's Jay. I wonder if you guys see. It's kind of like a... Uh, in it. Maquillajes. Like, uh, maquillajes. 
Mm, it's like that. Now I'm gonna do the tail, which is gonna be here. It's just some flicks like this, it's like kind of like a cheat job going here. And here's gonna be the uh, feather for this cute guy. It's difficult because like I say, outside it's, it's raining now and maybe you don't see it, but with the line work, you can, you're gonna see it. So just make sure you got the shape. It's nothing very difficult, it's just simple. Like a, how can you say it's like a pear, pear or peanut? Looks like a jalapeno to me. Jalapeno, okay. <laughs> I don't want to say something there. <laughs> it's maybe not correct. Okay, got it. Right now, let's do the beak. And for the beak, I'm grabbing yellow. Mm -hmm. And the one I'm using is neon yellow from um, from Lobo. Mm -hmm. Neon yellow from Lobo. Okay. I'm grabbing the yellow and my uh, number two. One second, I got it. And the beak is gonna be here. Gonna leave it alone for a little bit because you know this, uh, any yellow is kind of translucent and I like to go back in a, li uh, in a little bit to do another layer. So huh? now grabbing my, um, this is a flat brush, it's a small flat brush to do the branches. And instead of using black, I'm gonna use dark blue from Gobo. They have it in these little tiny containers. So, and I'm gonna grab the blue from this color to the branches here okay. and there, okay? And gonna do kind of like these, these lines, move the lines like kind of like in zigzag to make movements because these branches don't have to be perfect and go around something like that. Okay, I'm gonna put this one on the side and grab in my number two for line work. Mm -hmm. And I'm grabbing black. Okay, I'm gonna first do the feather in the inside, which is going from here. And which black are you using? Uh, this one is uh, Diamond Effects and it's from Black from um, Lobo. Mm -hmm. I mix these two because one is too strong and the other one uh, is the one who you easily remove from the skin. And so when I mix, it's like, I don't have any problem to remove it. But Interesting, you mix the two, see? huh? Yeah. Like that. Let me go back with the yellow just to make sure it's not transparent there. Something like that. And now I'm grabbing again my floral brush to do some flower skin there because birds love it. And I'm grabbing now um, neon yellow, orange and red. Okay. To do these tropical flowers. Okay. 
I'm loading my brush well, like that. I can do a few flowers in one go. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> now the orange and now red and the tip of the brush. Okay, let's put some um, flower here. I have friends watching or no? Oh, you got lots of watch people watching. Awesome. Thank you for being here, guys. I love you. We did a little early because you need to, you need to pick up your kids or something like that, right? No, because when my boys came home, my uh -huh. dogs were so loud and they go directly to the kitchen to see what they want to eat. And they make too much noises, and I don't like it. I see. I see. Yeah, um, well, that's what my boys do, too. They, they want to eat. I'm going to I rinse my same brush for the leaves and neon again for the leaves. And petrol blue is for the leaves. Ne is neon yellow and pet petrol blue, which I have next to me here. Uh, Richard asked, where are you from? You're, you're, from, uh, you're from Houston, right? No. I'm Mexicana and mm -hmm. I'm from Tampico, Mexico, but I live here for 26 years. So I would call you a Houstonite. Here is leaves. And you go and do leaves here and there. Just whatever you feel we need leaves. But don't go super crazy. This flower, because touch mm -hmm. the blue, I don't like it. Let me go back super quick and do that one again just because of the picture super fast we're almost done and move to the next one okay what just want to retouch this and do the metal part with the work with the line work uh, with the brown brush number two uh -huh. to do dots here and there and some stars and dots and some highlights. Hi, Gabby. Kind of like that. Going mm -hmm. close. Nice. Very pretty. Guys, take a picture, okay? Okay, we're taking a picture. Okay, picture taken. This one is just like that. Um, you can change the color of the flowers. You change the color of the bird to blue or pink or whatever color you want. You know, birds, they right. have so many different colors. Mm -hmm. So I'm just giving you some... Uh, has ideas and you can transform these by switching colors or uh, colors of the the uh, the animals or the cactus maybe blue I see other mm -hmm. people painting blue cactus just by switching colors you do something way different than what I'm doing here okay I'm Richard gonna said move the jalapeno bird came out really nice <laughs> going back I'm going to delete this one and move to the next one Okay. How many time we have left? Um, we have uh, we have eighteen minutes left. Perfect. Uh, Lucy says that was nice and colorful. Nice and what? Colorful. Hi. Thank you.
I wish I have models here, but no. So I have to wait my by myself. Let me grab. Yeah, some one. people can do boards, but some people hate boards, so. Perfect. And I, li I like to mix the black because it's very easy to remove. It's no big deal. Yeah. No, that's, that's a clever oh idea. God, I hope I have time for the last one. Let me go fast with this one and go with the other one because the last one is super cute. Okay. So, uh, this one is uh, another, uh, the ghost here. And this is the, the super kawaii school. Mm -hmm. the, I've been painting on my face with this mask, but I designed decide to do it on the side of the eye. So let's do this one. Um, for this one, I'm gonna grab my, um, another filler brush. And this Lucy one is says gonna- You look way better than a board anyway. Ah? Uh, you look way better than a board anyway. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> so I'm grabbing white and my, Fill a brush to do the circles. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm going to place one here and one here. So, do the circle for one, fill it out. Do the little part, the bottom part for the mouth. Okay. My hair. And the other one goes here. Another circle here. Mm -hmm. And here's the part to the mouth. It's a little square and just fill it out. Going back. To make sure it's circle. Perfect, just like that. And what I do with these um, schools, uh -huh. uh, I'm gonna put one on the side. Okay, I wanna wait for the next one. Let me do the roses. I'm gonna use um, the same color I use for the donuts, mm -hmm. uh, the neon pink for these flowers. It's gonna be tiny roses here and there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Do you guys like it? What you see? Let me wow. know. Okay, no, no questions so far. Here is two circles, one uh, big and one little, or two roses here and there. And I'm gonna do one more here. One more here. It's just circles, like random circles. And there, okay. Okay, I'm gonna grab, for, this is Elisa Grieti Pala. And I'm gonna grab the chimney white, I'll show you. I'm gonna grab mm -hmm. the chimney white here to okay. go on top of each uh, and each uh, school. I like it, in person looks so cute. And I don't know, I just love the way it looks. I do it all the time, so I have to do it now too. Okay. okay. So just go and do, oh, I mix pink. <laughs> Okay, let me go back. Don't be sad. It's fine. <laughs> Happen, right? And with the gold from the same palette, mm -hmm. I'm going to grab gold and go on top of each rose with a little bit here and there. And person looks super cute, this shimmery on top of these colors. So do it if you have it. Just play with the, with the colors there. 
And mm -hmm. I'm going to grab my, I think I dropped the color. Uh, my number one, sorry, my number one for do the line work and the details, okay? Perfect. So, you know, uh, someone, uh, Lucy says that she's never thought of using shimmer gold on roses before. Oh, it's very beautiful in person. You know, the video is not showing the colors, but mm -hmm. it looks super beautiful when you do that. Okay, I do, here's a heart upside down and heart like normal heart. And here it's gonna be the eyes, which is gonna be a oval shape. Here another oval chain. Mm -hmm. Here the same. This one is girl. Some little black G drops in the inside of each one to do the details. Kind of like that. Do the middle of the roses, which is going to be just random lines inside. Hi, Eva. Which Eva? Eva Wilden. I love you, Eva. They, uh, uh, Ruth says that's a sort of a uh, something cute and different for Halloween. I agree. Yeah. And here is also a very playful design because. You can change color, you can add uh, uh, one stroke in the background and flip, you know, change the, these guys, add a little bit. This is that mom and you can add the baby on top, you know, play around with these designs. It's very, very easy to do. And I'm gonna do some leaves now with another flower. This is from Andrea. Mm -hmm. She gave me this as a gift on Fadek and I use it for um, leaves. I'm mixing neon, mm -hmm. yellow, and petro blue for some leaves here and there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, to, uh, uh, people like the way that that design's kind of uh, showing at different angles. And- uh, What do you mean? Well, you have the, the one skull going one direction and the other skull going another direction. Oh yeah, yeah. Like that, they don't look uh, just like like and going like that. Now exactly. let me add some highlights in the eyes. Yeah. And some swirls coming from here. Some two jobs. Mm 
you know, to us, you can go crazy, whatever you want. Absolutely. Something like that, a little highlights in the roses, just if you have time, just go and do here and there. Something like that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go close and you guys can see and take a picture. Yeah, that looks great. Okay, well, I think, um, you know, even though we've got seven minutes, I think we've done good things. We have seven minutes to do another design, so let me do it fast. Okay, you want to do it fast? I'm in. Yeah. And if you ask, also we said that, can... that that design would work great as an arm design as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me try to move fast. Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Okay, for this one, I'm gonna grab a sponge. Hi. Water everywhere. And now grabbing this blue from the Lenny palette. going back and forth. Mm -hmm. On top of my eye. Going a little Everybody off. thinks you're amazingly fast. <laughs> really? Um, on the job, yeah. Let me grab a little bit of um, white shimmer uh, from the um, Elisa, just to mm -hmm. put on top right here because it's wet. And like mm -hmm. that, I avoid the cracks and I don't feel that, which I don't like here. Because mm -hmm. I'm thinking fast. Okay, now I'm grabbing my filler brush with neon. from the same cake on um, filbert brush to do a flamingo. Going back and forth, grabbing the colors. Mm -hmm. And I'm going in from here, going there. We don't have any complaints about they don't see they cannot see. No, no, no. Everybody seems great. Um, one question said when I wipe my face with baby wipes, it gets kind sort of greasy layer and I paint on top easily. Is, are you just using wet wipes with water on it? Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to okay. use anything else that have to work just fine. But I don't use the cheapy, cheapy ones. I use a good, you know, a good brand mm -hmm. like that because I I was using before the ones from dollar store and they don't do the, the job. Yeah. Okay. I have the shape here, right? I'm going mm -hmm. to do now the beak, which is going to be here going down, fill it out. Uh, Ruth is thinks these are invaluable inspiration. Thank you. I really, really appreciate it. I'm really happy that you guys are here watching. Okay. This one is kind of wet, wet, wet. <laughs> okay. How I'm going to do here from here, a palm tree going here. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Just do a few flicks. We don't have a lot of time now because their time is running. So oh, you're doing really well. How many times do we have left? Three minutes, but you know. Okay, what do we right. need? 
And when we, the time is done, they gonna kick me out. Yeah, the whole room. We we've rented the room out to someone else. <laughs> no, me, it's not true. Really? It's okay, not true. Now I'm gonna first do the eye, which pay attention. The eye, she ha, the eye, the head is pointing down. So the eye have to be here in this mm -hmm. direction. So do a flick like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, now uh, do the black part, which is going to be here. I do the palm tree in, in um, dark blue, but you can do it in black, or you can even do it in, um, in magenta, which looks so tropical and colorful. So it don't have to be always black, just like that. Now I'm moving to the flower. For this flower, I'm going to grab a floral brush with neon yellow, orange, and red. Okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And I use the background in blue like that. We can mimic kind of the ocean in the back. Mm -hmm. So anything colorful will work. Grabbing the orange and the red for the flower. The flower is going to be here to to up uh, to cover these, which I don't like it. So. I'm going here, do this, and with the extra color, I'm going here, like that. And with the same brush, let's do a leaf, maybe with a time with a yellow. And a little blue. Like that. Let me do the middle part of this flower, which is gonna be one side yellow, one side orange. And a round brush number four. Okay. Now top the orange, one side orange, red, uh, orange and yellow, and do a flick here, like that. Uh -huh. Bring the brush. Grab yellow to do the little, uh, I don't know the name of these uh, dots they have in the, in the other flower. Okay. Uh, I don't either. If it makes you feel better. <laughs> Let's do um, a little highlights and we're done. Okay. Uh, Okay, thank you so much for everyone who is here to support my art. I love you guys. And you know, Erin uh, responded that she loved your work. So um, everybody loves you as well, Patty. So like I said, it's not, it's not that kind of group where there's a lot of negativity. So I'm going in close for you guys to see. With this design, you can do glitter here, glitter here. Um, someone asked, uh, how do you choose your color palette? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, how did you choose your the palette that you're using? Uh, the colors now? I, mm -hmm. I pay attention now uh, to the color wheel, which mm -hmm. I don't do before. So like that, I know I can play with this color, who's going to play wonderful with this blue. So mm -hmm. uh, pay attention to that. I don't do be, I don't do before uh, I don't, don't do a lot of research about my colors before, but now I do it a little more. So 
uh, use the color wheel and like that, you're not ever gonna go wrong. Yeah. So I hope you guys like it. Uh, thank you so much to who is here, everyone who is here. I really appreciate your support and I hope I can see you in the next webinar with yeah. Mr. Blake. Thank you so much for inviting me, facebeaming.com. Thank you very much, Patty, and great to have you. Thank you for everybody joining us and uh, have a good day. Bye. Bye bye.